Hello, welcome to Penny Gadgets. Today we're going to do an unboxing for you on the Toshiba Camaleo S20 camcorder. It's a pocket camcorder but produces full 1080p quality. So let's go over to the actual thing and get it unboxed. So today we've got the Toshiba Camaleo S20, we're going to do an unboxing for you. It hasn't been opened yet, so what you're going to see is it being opened for the first time with all the accessories and the actual camera itself. I also took the liberty to purchase a, a Pony SDHC 4GB card. Tesco's at the moment selling these off for £7, which I thought was a great deal. So, let's get it unboxed. Straight away for quite a cheap camera, I paid £109.97p from Tesco's for this. Um, it's quite well nicely packaged. There's the camera itself, we'll take a look at that in a minute. It's quite tiny. So straight away what we've got here, got your video deluxe, you only get a trial, which is a bit ridiculous really. And you also get an, a manual on, on a disc, your warranty book, and your quick start guide. I don't know if there's anything quick about that, the book's thicker than a Harry Potter book. But, there we go. You get a nice case for the Toshiba camera. Your 3.5mm to AV cable, mini USB to USB cable, lo and behold HDMI cable, I didn't know that, a strap for the camera, your AC adapter and a a mini tripod there. Oh, you also get a cleaning cloth and a couple of different outlets for your adapter European and standard UK. So as you see these are all the accessories you get in the box. I've moved the box to the side apart from the quick start manual and the, the discs. I've put them in the box, just move them to the side and just concentrate on what's actually important in the box. Let's face it, we read the instructions. So, let's quick run through again. If you see here, we've got the, the case, the adapter, the wrist strap, cleaning cloths, a couple of adapters, USB cable, and AV cable, HDMI cable, the camera, and the card I bought separately. So let's, let's set this camera up. As you can see, it's quite a nice looking camera. Camera, it's very small. The screen rotates full 180 degrees. Buttons feel very nice. Little scroll bar and a record button. It also, double ups is your camera button. Down here, you've got your SD card slot by the looks of it. Yep, and your. Scenery and macro modes, little switch there. Small lens and your camera, I don't know if I can call it a flash, your lamp if you like. So let's put the battery in and everything like that if it's not already in. The battery is already in, that's good. So let's just let's just get this this memory card out of this plastic case.
rid of that. If there's any battery life in here, I'll do a quick product overview and then I'll bring a full review in in the next couple of days once I've played with the camera. So let's switch it on. It's not switching on. Don't look like there's any battery. Oh wait, there's a sticker over the, the connectors. Maybe that's why. Oh, there we go, we're on. So the SD card in. I don't know if you can tell off my screen there, the type of quality. I don't know what menu settings we've got in here, so let's see if we can go there. It is on full HD, 1080p, 30 frames per second, as you can see there. You've also got 720p at 30 frames a second, and WVGA and your normal VGA modes. Going through the menus, sound, TV, output, language, time setting. It has got stabilisation on it at 720p. No stabil stabilisation at full 1080p though. It's also got motion detect, slow motion and a time lapse feature. These are just different scene modes. You can't manually adjust your white balance. It's just got set options for you. And then we're back to there. So let's come out of that if we can. Yep, yeah, like that. Camera itself. Uh, look, oh, it turns off when you shut the screen. That's a good thing. And the camera itself, uh, it's, it's, it's a lovely camera. It looks really nice. You can feel it's quite well built. It's uh, plastic. You know, this is going to be fingerprint magnet though because of the type of material. This button here, I'm, I'm just guessing it's for um, video modes and photography modes. So. so that was the unboxing of the Camelio S20 from Toshiba. Um, in the next few days I'm going to bring you a full review um, and I'll also show you some test footage from the camera itself in low light and obviously in the daylight. So you'll be able to get a variant of what the camera is actually like when it's in shooting mode. I'll also bring you that in 1080p and 720p so we can see if there's any difference because we know some of these pocket camcorders they can be a bit tedious between the 1080p and the 720p. So that was Penny Gadgets, I'm Paul and I'll see you next time.